And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Atomic Society. And uh, I just, just demolished the uh, prison and the punishment center that was over here. I want to move those over here. Get them away from the population center. Okay, we're going to need a guard tower. Like, here-ish. We're in another prison. Like, I don't know. There. A punishment center. That sounds like loads of fun. Right there. So let's get our... I'm going to go help build this. I need to help build some stuff. So, yeah, we've got, you know, this area right in the, basically the middle of town now. Um, I built another hospital over here, and it filled up fast. So, I'm thinking, like, meds are probably one thing that we're going to want a clear handle on. Uh, oh, here I come running in. Woo! Okay. I want to get this guard tower built so we can get this stuff protected sooner. Because you never know when raiders are going to come in. Never know. So let's employ you. Let's get the punishment center. Oop. And the employees, they're all going to work, which is good. Four workers who are at a constant lookout. That's good. Okay, punishment center is a go. And yeah, see now raiders raiders are considering an attack, and I swear if they if they attack me when this poor place because we have enough we have enough weapons. Uh, that's a gas station. Uh, let's see, homemade weapons. We have seven, and we have six salvaged weapons. So we got we got plenty of weapons. Destroyed buildings, damaged buildings. Well, what did they destroy? How come I can't like see what they destroyed? And how did they destroy it? We have, we have like perfect coverage. It's so hard to see what's destroyed. This latrine cut getting destroyed because yes, it was out. So I just left that, left that alone. Uh, or let's employ some peeps. Uh, we've already got employees here. Yes, we've got employees here that's good no how many of you guys are gonna go pick up a weapon that would be the nice thing to do so it says buildings destroyed but I I don't know how to find those Cycle buildings that have locked, worker slots, town hall issues. No, that's not what I'm looking for. Um, I'm, I'm looking for those really hard to find piles of rubble on the ground. And... I'm not seeing them. Our our total storehouse count has not gone down, so that tells me that a storehouse wasn't wasn't collapsed. So I honestly don't know how to find whatever it is that they were complaining about. Okay, so we shouldn't. We shouldn't, we shouldn't get that kick on morale 
that we were getting. I mean, this was up to like 2530, the grim surroundings, um, which is why I wanted to move all that out. Nobody is actually distressed. That is crazy. Um, so yeah, we're minimizing that grim surroundings. Um, elderly, well, that number has rocketed up. Oh, that's the hospital. Where's my elderly center? There it is. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Interesting. I might need another one of those elderly centers. I'm trying to get my hope up to 30. Because, you know, one of the goals is 30. Fully protecting it. I honestly, again, don't know how to find. Where is it? Defense right here. Like, I wish I could click on this and and cycle through the buildings that it's telling me are not defended i have a feeling it's these remote storehouses that's the hunch i have and we are we are going down on our fruit and vegetables so yeah that's that's not a good thing not at all so maybe maybe use some of this space that I have here, some of this glorious space. Right there, right there. Hey, look at that, we already have builders on it because we're like right next to a builder's yard. So yeah, that should have been fast. Um, he is enforcing. Ooh, we have a visitor again. What do you want to do? No, I'm not going to execute. It's like I've executed maybe in this whole game, like three or four people. And I know half of them were innocent when we did it. So execution, while... Like, what's the word I'm looking for? It's a final solution, right? There's no going back. So if they're innocent, it's uh, that's the that's the whole argument on capital punishment. Uh, how how much of you know how many people are innocent that actually get d sent to there? Now the game might skew it. The game might say, you know, fifty percent of the people that are accused are innocent. Um, I don't know how the game handles. All of that. I wish I did. We're, enforcers are overworked. What? I just built two more enforcer outposts. Do I need another one? Looks like they're all lingering around in here. Uh, enforcer outpost. Quickly becoming a militaristic state here. All right, so we got another greenhouse going. I wanted to nip that one in the bud because that was starting to drop almost 400 people in in our city and it swings wildly too it's crazy how much it swings so we have the all the punishments over here we have a, a completely free uh prison empty completely empty oh how are you guys you're still not getting weapons. Really? You're enforcing. Where are you enforcing? Where are you where are you going? Hmm. 
Well, at least they didn't come up here. I guess, I guess prisons are a low priority target. Mm-hmm. Uh, force enforcer. Maybe have a few more enforcers around because there's one. No, that's crematory. There's a crematory. We got lots of crematories. Uh, there's an enforcer outpost there. I might need to build another hospital. Uh, maybe I could do that. Will one of those fit? Ah uh, ha ha! Yes, indeed. They would. Let's see if we can snuggle it back a little bit. Right there. Perfect. You know, and it's going to be right next to the elderly center. I think that's appropriate. We're replacing the punishment center with a hospital. There's, there's, there's got to be some irony there. Uh, okay, some more, some more, more enforcers. It's all good. Chemists are working hard. We do have quite a bit of medicine. Homemade medicine, 108. So. Yeah, another hospital I think is in order, and they employ a lot of people, a lot of people. So works it works for the you know for everybody's benefit. I want to try to get those those needs up. You know we've got this goal here, and this just says it's this is hard to do in early access version. So I'm I'm getting them pretty close. You know food and water. I don't know why we shouldn't be maxed out on that yet. And, you know, it's just a matter of time before hope gets to be 30. But again, I don't have, uh, I don't have the goal. I don't, the town fully protect against, I think the only way to do that is to demolish those um, storehouses that I have out and about places. But I don't want to do that. And I don't want to build a guardhouse out there either because that's a long way to walk. And our city isn't really, I don't think the game is really geared for a, you know, a map wide city just because there's like no bridges. There's no people are walking somewhere. They could easily die just walking there. Like if they work here and they live up there, what are the odds that they're going to die trying to get home? Plus their productivity would be nil because they would walk all the way to work, spend two seconds at work, and then walk all the way home again because the day was... So the game is not really geared for very, very large towns. So I'm not going to try... Not going to try to get that, uh, get that, that level. Uh, execution for... Huh. Holy cow. Uh, we're going to resist you, and you can just you can just go at it. There we go, and let's employ some people. And then as soon as people, as soon as people arrive, which when you click on something, you can see they're highlighted which is it's a nice feature as soon as somebody arrives to work look at all the people come to work probably will need some more entertainment but the, the three that I built have really improved uh, leisure. So as soon as somebody arrives, which they are taking their sweet, sweet time getting over here. Bingo. Treatment capacity is maxed. And we are ready to take in patients. All right, Sky DeShane, 
who I know was serving time Wait, what? 16? Seeking food. Oh, going to work. Uh, I think this is a per... What? Jeez. What are we in, like an infinite loop here? Well, you work at a hospital, and you need to go to a hospital, so what are the odds that you're going to be able to be helped? Ooh, we already have some medicine in here, which should greatly help all of the people that we're, that we're doing. Because, if you look, restores 50 health without medicine and 100 with medicine. So uh, it can it can help a lot. Uh, so if we look at our needs, yeah, right here, the health is going up. And I don't know if it, I, you know, it, it would be, make sense if it was maxing at 100. That would make sense. Favorite thing about life now, the scenery. Really? The scenery, huh? This is some some pretty brown scenery. Hmm. Okay. Well, to each their own. I'm, I'm not gonna judge. Look at all the people going to work. Crazy. Yep. We needed a lot of a lot of medicine. Um, I had a feeling that we were we were getting a little low. On our on our medicine. So yeah. So as far as this game it goes, I mean, I have done everything. I've built everything. Um, and you know, this is an early access game, so I'm I'm expecting there to be more content, more things. Um, so we'll probably revisit this game in the future. I'm hoping that they they add some quality of life, you know, things that allow you to be a little bit more creative with your city, you know, pathways that people can walk faster, you know, little pull carts that, you know, you can move more material, um, maybe redo some of the the sparseness of the scavenging stuff because... I don't know what the backstory is on this, but shouldn't there be like way more buildings around here? Like this is, um, I mean, I understand why they don't do it, but I, I think that um, the fact that you have to walk 600 miles to salvage something and then 600 miles back, uh, says something about there being some problem with that <laughs> like there's there's a problem and the fact that you can't make you know there's another innocent one the the fact that you can't make your own uh you know masonry at, at a certain point there's got to be a way to start mining some of these rocks and making or clay and making your own bricks or making your own cement you know things like that once it once your city hits a certain population, you know certain levels can be achieved, and maybe you get perks of not needing to salvage so much of, um, you know masonry. Maybe a tree farm for lumber, slow growing, you know, but very reliable source of lumber. Metal, you know, there's got to be a lot of metal around. I mean, granted, we can salvage a lot, but oh, before we go, let's see. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, no. Not going to happen. 
Uh, so yeah, it's it's a neat little game. A lot of great core concepts. Few quality of life upgrades and maybe you know some 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 something to reduce the grind a little bit. The micromanagement. Um, and maybe a little bit more information as far as like I'd like to be able to go here and see like where the needs are like this this tells me something but it not I don't think it's I don't really think it's enough so uh, anyway looking for another game to cover if you have any suggestions, you know, don't hesitate to pop into my Discord and uh, throw in something in the game suggestions. I've got quite a few games into the new year on my wish list. Obviously, Satisfactory and the new Tropico. And, you know, there's, there's quite a few games that I'm looking forward to being released. But as far as the timing goes, I'm not really sure. So I'll have to see what i can put down here uh in 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 place of place of this uh place of this game for a little while anyway maybe another mini gunsmith episode i know they i know they updated that game quite a bit but uh we'll look we'll look into it um like to keep the the series going and uh i want to wish everybody happy holidays and a happy new year and uh that will do it for this episode, and I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.